the Surface laptop has finally entered its third generation and Microsoft has finally made some decent changes to the hardware to make it a more compelling choice than its predecessors. This is the 13.5 inch model that I've got to review for a couple of weeks already and by all means, this is still not a perfect device and Microsoft has never really made its Surface devices perfect anyway. So if you have been holding off your purchase on a Surface laptop, this is the one that you should probably buy. If you have been staying away from the Surface Laptop because of its Alcantara keyboard, the Surface Laptop 3 now offers an aluminum keyboard area if you opt for the sandstone or matte black color like this one I have, which I really appreciate as it is much easier to maintain when it ages. The Surface Laptop 3 may look identical to its predecessors, but Microsoft has actually done some subtle improvements to the hardware, such as replacing the mini DisplayPort for USB-C, which supports display output and is an alternative way to charge the laptop. The trackpad is now wider with a better button mechanism. The 13.5 inch PixelSense touch display is brighter with better color saturation and lastly, it has better performance under the hood with a 10th gen Intel Core i5-1035G7 quad-core processor and 8GB of low-power DDR4X RAM. The Surface Laptop 3 features a removable 256GB M.2 2230 solid-state drive which you can technically attempt to upgrade on your own, although Microsoft recommends a certified professional to do it. But it will be probably easier to expand storage with an external SSD as an M.2 2230 drive isn't affordable and widely available in the market. As a productivity laptop, the Surface Laptop 3 is definitely up for the task of doing emails, spreadsheets, and web browsing. Even if you were to run Adobe Lightroom for some photo touch-ups or do a little vector work on Adobe Illustrator, it does fine if you aren't having a lot of programs running in the background. I appreciate the convenience of Windows Hello and the infrared camera locks me into Windows instantly as I set my eyes on the screen. The webcam and microphone is excellent for video conference calls as well. Unfortunately, the Surface Laptop 3 disappoints in battery life as I've only managed to get 4.5 hours of continuous use. A far cry from Microsoft's claim of up to 11.5 hours. But considering the fact that I usually do an average 2 hours per session, I could just charge up the laptop really fast over USB-C when I'm not using, so it hasn't been too much of an issue for me. There's very little reason to not like the Surface Laptop 3. It is a beautiful machine that looks stunning on a coffee table and meeting room. It's got a beautiful display that not many Windows laptops can match, and more importantly, it has a clean version of Windows 10 with great hardware and software updates directly from Microsoft. The only problem here is price. Even though the base model with 128GB of storage and the Alcantara keyboard starts at a decent 4499 ringgit price tag, Microsoft charges a 1200 ringgit extra premium for 256 gigs of storage and the matte black finish. And it goes all the way up to 7099 ringgit with an i7 processor and 16 gigabytes of RAM. But unfortunately, it still comes with 256 gigs of storage for the most expensive model, which to some customers isn't really sufficient. Even if it does make sense, you probably shouldn't spend over 7,000 ringgit on a Surface Laptop 3 as you could get Windows machines with better battery life and specs for a lower price tag. So that's pretty much for our review of the Surface Laptop 3 today here on KL Gadget TV. So stay tuned for more videos coming right up on the channel. Do subscribe to us, comment down below if you have any questions for us on the laptop and we'll try our best to answer them. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.